Hello! Welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, Angelo asked us to go to the Ruined Abbey, which this place is, and check it out. Well, not check it out, but find Abbot Francisco. We have to get there because we couldn't get there regular ways. So, let's see how many treasures are here. Nine! Holy moly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. New battle. Bag of laughs. These guys are basically trick bags from uh, the other game. And they changed their name to Bag of Laughs. And they're not going to be laughing now as we defeat them. They're pretty easy. Uh, a lot of the monsters here can cast Fizzle on you. Which basically is silent. The, um... The silence, sp the stop spell spell. Yeah, they call it Fizzle in this game. Get used to it, because uh, from now on... Holy crap! Yes, this is the first area in the game where we can uh, fight Metal Slime. So let's give it the old um, all-out-or-nothing all attack. Let's see if it'll work. Of course, they have high defense, so you won't be able to hit them as easily. Let's see if Yangus can do anything with his Hatchet Man ability. Holy crap! It worked! Wow! Nice. Look at these levels. Hopefully everyone goes up one. Eleven. Nice. HP boost. And six skill points. We're gonna work on some spears and some courage. We'll get back to swords. Yay, I'm an expert spearman and learned thunder thrust, which is also an all out this is an all out attack, uh all or nothing attack. But sometimes it hits critical and sometimes it doesn't. Look at the symbol on the ground. That is an I'm assuming that's a Templar symbol. But yeah. So that, that ability is alright, but we'll learn a, an ability that's even better later. As uh, most of you figured. And now we got more new enemies, Drakimaz. Now these babies, I believe, can also cast the Sleep Spell on you. And see, yeah, they're casting Fizzle. Uh oh, I'm prevented from casting spells. Why do I need it when I can just use brute force to murder you? Yeah, see here they they can cast sleep. Look, I don't know how you fall asleep like that standing up. And here's yeah, see it's an all out it's a all or nothing attack and 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 then, you know, it does it'll either do critical or just regular damage. So it's really not worth it. But if we, maybe we run into some more metal slimes, I'll give that a go. Yay! Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. I hate when that fan acts up. It always acts up when I start recording. What the hell? Friggin' noise. I, I gotta fix it. Anyways, let's uh, keep exploring here. If I can. And now, reminder, this was very dark on my TV while I was recording it. Oh no, fly guys! We haven't seen you since Dragon Quest 4. Now these guys are no trouble at all. Because as you can see, they don't attack by very much. And all they do is keep casting fizzle or doing some stupid thing where they rub their legs together like flies do. So. And as you can see, the whip is attacking the entire group. Which is pretty nice. Take that, fly guy. Baxter Stockman, you are not. Ha ha ha, another whip. Yeah, basically two whips from Jessica, and uh, and then uh, the hero and Yangus can take him out easily. Yay, ooh, a cow pat. Really, you're gonna give me cow poopy? That's what you're gonna give me, huh? Well, I guess it's better than nothing. I don't know if there's anything you can do with that. And look at that, we get the map of the ruined abbey. So yeah, look at that. Pretty nice, huh? It's all ruined and crap. Oh no, candy box. Or man-eating chest, as it used to be called. These guys, well, they're not mimics yet. These are not mimics. These are their weaker brothers or cousins or whatever. Oh yeah, look at that. Killed them, not too bad. I remember back in Dragon Quest V, whenever you beat one of them chests, they'd give you a mini medal, and that was pretty cool. And I think there was some sort of trick that you can continually get mini medals, but I didn't really, like, abuse it. 
Look at that, we got an iron nail. Let's see if we can make something in the alchemy pot. Basically, if we use an iron nail plus a boomerang, we will get a cooler boomerang, a reinforced boomerang. But it looks like we can't use the alchemy pot in a dungeon. So, we'll have to wait till we go back outside. And let's go over here first. Let's see what else is around. Yeah, so you gotta wait till you go outside, but iron nail plus boomerang equals reinforced boomerang. And if you are working on the hero's skills, oh yeah, we also have a new enemy here, a skeleton. He's got two attacks, one with a sword and one with his head. The head hurts more than the sword. Uh-oh. Ow. Stop hitting Yangus. Anyways, um, yeah, if you're still using the boomerang, or, or like, uh, working on the hero's boomerang skills, you know, that's, that might be an option. I'll probably make it just for the heck of it. You know, because I might use it down the road. It might become useful. Who knows? And there we go, another battle down. But there's actually an item that we'll get near the end of this level that will greatly help uh, the hero quite a bit. So let's go south. And yeah, there was a ladder back there, but we didn't go. So let's go this way and see what's over here. So yeah. There's gonna be an item we're gonna get that will be able will be able to upgrade this spear that I got. That's why I really wanted to buy the long spear. And wow, there's a lot of coffins and dead bodies here, but that's to be expected, I guess. No treasure over here. I wonder what happened to this place. Did it did it like get destroyed in a massive earthquake and then like uh and then, like, you know, the people left the abbey, and then it got abandoned and stuff. I wonder what happened. Anyways, let's keep going here. What do we got here? A long hallway. That's pretty nice. I like long hallways. Pretty simple to navigate, because it's just one area. Oh, yeah, there we go. What the hell? That's a one-way door right there. So now we have to go all the way around until we get to... Now, I'm not going to go downstairs, but I'm going to go back up here and up that ladder back there. Let's see. Yeah, I continually use my map here because, um, again, it's very, it's very dark on my TV as I'm playing it. Which really sucks. i got to figure out how to fix that pain the balls. It's pain in the butt. Anyways, yeah, there's a ladder over here. For some reason, I, there we go. There we go. I did it! Yeah, Okay, now where am I? Over here. So let's go this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even these la la lanterns aren't really helping keep it too bright down here. Although, I wonder how they stay lit up. Look at that, we got another mini metal. Awesome! I don't know if... Ah, oh, man. Obviously, it's not a spoiler that we're eventually gonna meet the mini metal. Um, or we're gonna get to mini metal island. Ooh, we get a bronze shield. We can use that for later for more alchemy. Anyways, obviously it's not a secret that we're gonna get to mini metal island or wherever the hell it is. We're going to eventually reach Mini Metal Place. But I wonder if we'll have enough when we, re when we reach there to actually get an item. Holy crud. See? That's a one-way door. We cannot go back in it. So, now let's keep going south. Or downwards. But yeah, I forget if we do. Again, I'm going to try to collect every Mini Metal in the game. Or at least enough to get all the prizes and stuff. And, okay, now we're coming up to the old poisonish thing here. A lot of, how come purple is always poison, huh? Yeah. Luckily, when we step in it, we don't get poisoned. I've seen that happen in some video games. You step in a poisonous marsh, and then bam, you're poisoned. Kind of stinks. But anyways, yeah, why is poison always got to be purple? Even in Okami, the other game that I'm left playing... You know, there's purple, there's, uh, 
you know, purple equals poison. I thought purple was supposed to equal grape, and grape was supposed to equal delicious. So yeah, you want to walk across that um, that whole little bridge there, that makeshift bridge that they got. And let's go upstairs. We're going back upstairs. Yeah, let me just heal up after that battle. Those skeletons can be a pain sometimes. But then again, I've been running into a lot of battles, so it's only right that I gotta heal every once in a while. Alright, so we're almost done with this area. This is actually the last floor. Holy crap, look at all these skulls and things. Wow, what is this, a mass burial thingy? No. Oh. Gold, yeah! Alright, let's go over here and open up this door. And uh, hopefully there's something in this thing. No? How about uh, these barrels over here? I missed. Uh, there we go, those barrels. Let's get them. What the hell? Get the barrels, me. Wow. There we go. Pick up the barrels. A mini metal. Ooh, water weed mold. Now, just like the uh, fire mold, we can use that to make. Um, we can use that to make a new cheese for Munchie, and I'll probably list that when I make it. But uh, yeah. Okay, let's go this way. We're finished getting all the treasure here. That was all nine, so let's go over here and see what we got. Anything? Oh, I lied. That that was nine. There we go. Whoops, I misspoke. Holy crap, look at this guy. He's undead and he's a priest. Yeah, why? Oh, a plague consumed your abbey. And then everyone died. And now he's pissed and he's gonna fight us! Holy crud! A tortured soul draws near. So, first thing you wanna do is let's let's see, just have Kenshin psych up. And here, if you have it, use Kabuff. If you have it, I don't know if you've been uh, boosting Yangus's uh Yangus's uh humanity, but Kabuff is a very nice ability. As you can see, it increases our defense a bit. And that will help out a lot, actually. Come on, Kenshin, get angry! There you go, Jessica. Take away the defense. So now we're gonna have Kenshin attack the Tortured Soul. Basically, you wanna kill him because he'll just continually uh, summon more bad guys. And yeah, there's a new enemy there. Zombie guy, I forget his name. Holy crap, 17 damage. Now, I don't know if the speed really matters, but I just did it anyways. Go, Yangus! Nice, took away more defense. See how they're only doing two now instead of five or six? Warping corpses in the name. Yeah, see how they're doing like five or six damage now? Now, actually, you know what? I'm gonna psych up Yangus and Jessica, and I am gonna do something super cool. There we go, yeah, there we go. Get angry, fellas and lady. We're gonna take these guys out. Oh, you're gonna attack me with your soul thing? You know what, I'm just gonna, uh-oh. Don't hit Jessica. Oh, you have to hit Jessica. Damn you. See, look at their damage, not doing too much. But you know what, I'm gonna heal Jessica and keep psyching Yangus and uh, Jessica up. Oh yeah, 20. Eventually, we'll be able to get to 100%, but right now, I think we can only go to 50. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that's no damage whatsoever. So, yeah, they're, they're, I'm just basically toying with these guys. I, I mean, I got this victory in the bag. Let's psych up everybody. Oh, yeah. She reaches a state of high tension. Later, eventually, we'll get the super high tension. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're ready to roll here. And Kenshin, just for the hell of it. You can increase your tension by five. We're all really angry and pissed off. And we've got a test due in a little while. But we'll have to... Well, you can't hit Yangus for anything. We'll have to defeat this boss in the next episode. 
Sorry about this cliffhanger. Bye-bye.